Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now it was actually my ancient Alienware system that I had first intended to try and install Windows 11 on this morning, but given Windows 10 won't even work without error, I wasn't surprised when this single core machine proved incompatible. Back under the bed you go. This absolute whopper was next. My 11 year old XPS features one of the first Core i7 processors, 8 gigs of RAM and a pretty terrible Nvidia GPU, but it handles Windows 10 with some degree of dignity. An SSD upgrade would certainly be welcomed, but I've made do with the traditional hard disk drive over the course of my ownership of this, what some dare to call a laptop. It's more of a lap crusher, in all honesty, weighing almost as much as my dog, and he is a chubby boy these days. Installing Windows 11 was done totally legitimately through the Insider program which did throw up a TPM related error to begin with, but thanks to Linus's Don't Buy a New PC for Windows 11 video guide, I was able to get around this. I'll leave a link to that down below because they explain it far better than I ever could. I honestly muddled my way through it a bit because up until now I haven't tried to do this before and of course I've been winging it for the last 8 years or so. My main reason for installing 11 on this dinosaur was to check out the gaming performance with this now so called low end hardware. This machine can still handle a few modern-ish titles with reduced settings and resolutions and I couldn't help but wonder how Microsoft's new OS affected the performance numbers in comparison to Windows 10. It's early days and things may change but I do want to quickly say that from a general usage point of view this XPS feels snappier to use than it did beforehand which in all honesty wasn't that snappy. It actually feels a bit more fluent overall and isn't hindered by the older hardware despite not being officially supported. We do still have a quad core i7 after all. For anyone with similar specs I should also state that installing this preview took about 2 hours and that's not including the download time. All the necessary drivers were also installed automatically during the update and even these unique touch buttons still function as they did under the laptop's original Windows 7 installation. When I first tested this laptop 7 months ago I found that the last decade hadn't been kind to the GPU which tends to be the case with most gaming laptops. The graphics always age way worse than the processor. I re-ran some tests with Windows 10 before installing the 11 Insider Preview and my first impressions are that nothing has really changed CPU usage wise. There was a noticeable increase in system memory usage this time around with Fallout 4 which used about 800 megabytes more than it did with Windows 10, the test of which was carried out while no other user installed programs were running. The average frame rate and percentile figures were near identical. Skyrim Special Edition also exhibits higher RAM usage under Windows 11 when only the game, Steam and MSI Afterburner are running. We were seeing around 6.4 gigs used up by this title but in Windows 10 that was reported at around 4.9. This may change over time. It's early days for 11 and the way certain processes are handled may also change in the future. Apart from that, frame rate numbers don't really differ. Crisis tells the same tale. I've noticed that the RAM usage is once again higher, around 800 megabytes or so higher, but performance isn't any different and CPU usage is similar as well. This old XPS machine handles games with an early version of Windows 11 installed just as well as it did with Windows 10 installed, even though RAM usage appears to be a bit more significant, which could be contributed to more out of game processes running in the background. But there we go, this has been my first look and rather amateur look at uh, Windows 11. This is more of a first impressions video, I guess, of the operating system running on older and, well, on paper unsupported hardware. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like on it down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Let me know how Windows 11 runs for you if you've managed to get it running on older hardware as well. I'll leave a link to that Linus video down below in the description. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.